I am Sandrine and welcome to my pregnancy video. No, I'm not pregnant. I've done it five times, so now it's your time and congratulations for your pregnancy. And I'm going to teach you what to do and what not to do when you're pregnant. Pregnancy is not an illness and everybody is very different as well when they're pregnant, so you have to listen to your body. So, what should you be working on? Abdominals, core, pelvic floor, arms, legs? Well, I would say you need to work on your posture. You need to work on your core, yes, but I'm not a big believer of going crazy into uh, deep abdominals uh, work when you're pregnant. Uh, you will lead to injury, you might lead to diastasis recti, which is a separation of your abdominals wall, um, which by the way, I've got other videos about that. So if you do end up with that, I've got video just for you. Uh, we still can um, fix it and try to get it back together. But if we can avoid it, let's avoid it. So let's start doing some of the exercises who are very safe during pregnancy. So I do have the ball and I'm going to keep it because I always find uh, when you're pregnant, back problem is something was going to happen. Anything around the pelvis you need to remember, it's going to be really unstable because of the relaxing hormone which is there to open the pelvis as well for the baby to go through. But unfortunately, the hormone itself does not concentrate on your pelvis, so it goes everywhere. So you have to be careful. And, and I'm not a big fan either of overstretching when you're pregnant because that leads to injury. Okay, let's start with the ball. So you're going to have the balls behind, so on your sacrum here, and you're going to bend your knees. So any exercises you're going to do, you're going to try to always bend your knees and you're going to make sure that you're not extending your arms either. So from here, I'm stretching my spine and that's going to be important as well for you, this exercise, because your posture is going to be really affected. So I'm going to press down into the lower back, inhaling, exhaling, lifting up, open the chest. This is a beautiful exercise for the articulation of your spine, but for your lumbar spine and you need to work on your lower abdominals. I suffered from back problem with, my, with all my uh, pregnancies. So it's really, really common and I really want you to look after it properly. So right now I'm contracting my abdominals as well. I'm pressing into the, uh, the back and into that ball, which is very safe and coming back up. So if you do have any back problem, this is a great exercise to do as well and come back up. Now, if I want to make it a bit more challenging, you reach down, arms here, that's it. And then you can have one arm up at a time. What I won't do when you're pregnant is to have both arms together. Straight away, it's going to put too much uh, tension and pressure into your abdomen, uh, into your um, abdominals. So it's a no-no. One at a time, it's fine. Anything you're going to do with your leg, it's the same. You keep one leg down on the floor. In Pilates, we call it close chain. And for you, that's important. You never have both legs of the mat, of the floor, at the same time, ever. Not when you're pregnant. Contracting here. Good. Excellent. Good, and come back up, lengthening your spine. Whenever you find that it's very uncomfortable, you stop it. That's very simple, yeah? It's really common sense being pregnant. You listen to your body. Your body is so clever and tells you, reach back and lifting up. And again, a few more. So anything sitting is great for you to be doing. So I could be doing my arms, I could be doing anything really. I could just hold it here. If I want to work on core, it's there. Always think about keeping the ribs down and keeping everything together. I never go back too much. Keep that, um, that C shape as well, so you're coming back here. Another thing as well, you're going to get bigger boobs, so that's another nightmare as well. First, it's really uncomfortable, and then it's just, yeah, it's not right. And come back up. Good. So there's lots of different exercises you can do on the um, sitting position. You can go kneeling as well. So kneeling is very comfortable when you're pregnant. So let's do some. My favorite is a cat. And I've got actually a video about what not to do 
when you're pregnant and I've got another video about back problem which the cat is in. So we go here, you're going to uh, pull your abdominals and you're going to arch your back, lifting up your head slightly. And I'm still pressing down into my arms as I'm going to roll up. So shoulder blades going to the side and tuck. And uh, so we're opening now. Good. And reach back. So this one you can do it at home. I would say every day when you're pregnant. It's such a nice one. It is working on your abdominals as well. We need to be working on abdominals too. Good. Then what you can do is to have one arm up and then the other one. So it's challenging your core. We can do the same with the leg as well. So you can do all that at home. It's completely safe. What I do not allow you to do is the plank. Or anything lying down on your stomach. A bit normal, yeah? For obvious reason. Now. The best series for pregnancy, other than sitting or kneeling, I mean kneeling you can do, sorry, you can do some of the legs exercise. So we're going to go up, using your abdominals, keeping your pelvis stable. We go to the other side, we do that as well. And bring it back, we go to the other side. And circles, and back. So anything like this is actually really safe during pregnancy. Going up, you can go side to side. All that is completely fine. Now, side. Sideways, I really think it's the best for pregnancy. You can lie down completely or you can come up. I'd rather you to be lying down here, but because I need to watch you, I need to come back up. You're going to engage your abdominals. Now, being in that position, it's purely balance. What is balance? It's your core. And as you know, you're losing your balance when you get pregnant. Yes, I know. Well, when you're pregnant, anyway, as you're getting bigger and bigger. So you're going to lift up here. Flex here, we're going to go up and down. Contract, contract, good. So you can do all your series here. You can go for circles. Everything should be really, really um, controlled. That's the main thing. But I would say for any Pilates exercises, it's all about control. Good. Coming back, reaching back as well. Working on your glutes. I always find it's easier to be working on your legs and your bum when you're pregnant and should never, never give up on that. You still need to look good when you're going to push that baby out, yeah? Stay here, we're going down. You're going to slide that leg up to your knee, reaching up. Flex, reach down. Good. That's another good stretch as well. So all these kind of exercise or anything um, lying down on the side, it's completely fine for pregnancy and I highly recommend it. Good. And you could just bring this one here and then do the circle here, working on your inner side, on everything really, and coming back up. So that's really the kind of exercise you need to really put your mind into it. You're making sure that you're not hurting the baby. I mean, lying down on your back, it's just uncomfortable. So don't do it. Uh, it's always better even at home to be lying down on your, on your side um, for the baby and for yourself. Obviously not on your tummy because it's really uncomfortable. Um, yeah, saying that, um, I did sleep until I was probably four months pregnant, four or five months pregnant on my stomach. But it doesn't mean that it's right. Everybody's different again, so it's up to you. Uh, but I won't suggest it. And um, other than that, yeah, just listen to your body. And that's the main thing. But be safe, stay safe, and yes, exercise during pregnancy. But exercise the correct way. So anything to do with Pilates, to bar. Bar is the best kind of exercise you can do when you're pregnant because it's all functional movement. You're working on your pelvic floor. I forgot to mention the pelvic floor, which is a big thing. Um, it would be a big thing when you give birth, by the way. Uh, at the moment, you might not feel it that much, but yes. Sorry, somebody's calling me. Sorry. Um, yes, yeah, so remember to look after yourself to still exercise and do the correct kind of exercise. And whenever you find, hmm, doesn't make sense, just don't do it. 
concentrate on the muscle group that you need. And your inner thighs, by the way, are super important. So anything with a pillow at home between your legs, uh, the bridge is, is completely fine. So lying down here, reaching up, all this is completely fine during pregnancy. You can place a pillow or a ball here and that will work on your inner thigh. And that's actually a muscle group which is really important to be working on when you are pregnant because as I did mention earlier, your pelvis is very unstable because of that relaxing hormone. If you have any question about pregnancy and Pilates, please ask me. I will be happy to answer them and I'll see you soon.